Hey everyone, welcome to Snowbreak Containment Zone and let us discuss the factors or three factors that are affecting the heals or improve the heals of 4 Star Yao. As you all know, she is a sniper but she has... She is more of a support um, operative based on her heals. Let's go over her skills, guys, and let's see why I'm saying this. First and foremost, this is her standard skill. It is five minute break. She takes a lot of breaks, so definitely she's not going to be your primary um, damage dealer or operative. So deploy Slacker's Aid to continue to replenish her ammunition for the duration of Slacker's Aid, increase Yao's rate of fire. So this is nice. Um, you may actually use this depending on the situation. This will be your secondary role as your sniper, but primary, really, she is going to be your healer. So this is it. Her support skill, however, paid over time is one of the things that you should focus on so yao deploys one healing winter light device so it's a device it's something that hovers over you to heal operatives within range once every three seconds so take note that so duration of healing winter light is 21 seconds attack of healing winter light um is going to be 100 percent of yao's attack so in, in short, this skill this skill scales off on Yao's attack, which is good because you will need um, additional attack, of course, for her ballistic damage, for her gun. Okay? So as you level up this skill, which I highly um, suggest, healing Winter Light slowly follows the operative in the field, which is a must. And the other one is when using a Frost-type weapon, increases the healing Winter Light device duration to 30 seconds instead of 21 okay moving on to her ultimate her ultimate by the way is also a heal the problem with the work to rule that is the name that the cooldown is so long it's 120 seconds you can actually upgrade this through neuronics but it's only going to be down to 90 seconds you might want to use this you might want to use this from time to time but this is not going to be your main skill that you should focus on it's going to be the support skill the, th the three factors that i'm talking about which will start with the first one is going to be um her attack stat so as you can see here she has a total of one five four nine so this is the first one the first factor one five four nine so how do you increase her attack so first and foremost is you need to train her because as you, let's say, for example, I'd like to increase her to level 61. Let's um, let's just uh, have a demo here. So there is an increase as well. So it's a small increase, but it's a fixed stat. Next, um, if you want to increase your um, attack stat, we have to focus on her gun. So let's go to the recommended tab. These are the two guns definitely that are recommended. The first one... Uh, is a purple variety so that when support skill is used which is perfect for her um, deep seas call um, deploy deployed operative will gain bonus attack equal to 13 percent of the weapons user's attack for 15 seconds which adds to her heal definitely because you're going to be using the support skill then next up which um, most of us actually have gotten through the login rewards is going to be Olympus. This one is going to give her a fixed 18% whether you use the gun or not. But if you want to use the use the gun, you gain a one stack of stars blessing when hitting a weak spot. So max five stacks. You can actually use this one to consume uh, with the lowest HP will be healed for 4.8% of the weapon's attack a uh, number of times of the stack. So this one to activate requires you to use her or to shoot or to stack these stacks a max of five stacks um, hitting a weakness but definitely the increase of 18 percent is actually solid already so even if you don't use her as your primary or you don't use her to shoot this gun this gives you an 18 percent of attack okay so uh, next up for increased attack stat we will have to go to logistics Okay, if you want to increase your logistics, you'll have to e equip a set. 
so let's say for example this is attack 55 if you want if this if you only equip two definitely your attack stat will disappear so you need to equip three guys so that this will take effect so again it's back here at 55 and also just to make sure that you know which talent you are equipping um preferably you the talent that you are giving her with 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 the same set has an attack percentage plus so this one is attack four percent the next one is attack plus 8.5 percent the next one doesn't have any plus i still have to change this eventually but we'll go to that why i haven't changed this so those are your uh, factors affecting attack next factor would be your alignment index we'll go back to here so they was alignment so the healing effect of yao and healing water device increased by eight for each 100 alignment index so take note for each 100 um there's a total of eight percent plus an extra four so the four is not for every eight the four is a flat stat so for each 100 uh, eight percent so if you have 600 so 600 times eight percent then plus four percent so that is how it's computed if you want to know what is your alignment index it's actually here so it's here but you can also find it here so i'm at 690 so i'm roughly at six six times multiplied by eight percent so 816 to the 42 40 48 so that's an increase of 48 percent in terms of 48 percent okay so winter light device increased by eight percent so healing winter so that's the buff 48 plus your four percent okay so this is one that you need to increase in terms of um, second factor that you need to increase your heals so how do you increase your alignment index that is a good question we will have to go back to your logistics or your logistics again for the talent the second line here um, you should be able to choose alignment index because um, that is a plus 106 this is 74 and this is 58 you will have to eventually refine your talent so that it may contribute more to your healing so again logistics contributes to your attack and your alignment index both and the last way on how to increase your alignment index is actually here in your neuronics healing effect of yao healing winter device increased by eight for each alignment index increases um this is the one that appears there in the passive if you want this to level up to the next phase you have to open four but this is not really necessary you can actually um, level this up as soon as you're comfortable and you have extra resources. So, by the way, this one, the fixed stat, this one appears even though you don't have any buffs here. So, take note of that. So, that is the where you could get additional plus when you level up each of, um, let's say you want to level up each of your clusters. There is an additional uh, alignment index for each of the cluster that you will be adding you will also get more healing buffs through the manifestation what is manifestation if you get a copy of yao four star yao definitely she'll be broken into shards and also the shards if you get them individually they will add here and you can actually spend them and upgrade her stats here all across there's an attack bonus here plus you get an extra passive skill so for the first um manifestation immediately unleashes one extra emergency healing when a healing winter light is deployed healing full squad for 30 percent of yao's attack that's the first one the second one if you unlock it will be hippocratic oath when an operative hp is lower than 20 and healing winter is not in the field one healing winter will automatically be deployed cooldown is 120 seconds so additional uh passive for your healing this one is another passive when healing winter deals effective healing amount recover one u energy or ultimate energy which is nice as well especially if you plan to use her ultimate uh skill 
And the fourth one is also towards her healing, which is paid overtime skill plus one, increases healing amount of healing winter to 33%. Paid overtime is actually her support skill. So this is a must to open. So just want to go back, guys, to paid overtime is her support skill, just to be sure. Uh, going back to her last one. This one is another passive skill, which is her last. Increase the healing effect of operatives affected by healing winter light by 10% for 5 seconds. So, again, all of her manifestations point towards her being a healer. So, those are the things that you need to improve in her kit. So, thank you very much for staying this far. Take care, stay safe. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.